half y is equal to negative 5 cosine of 4 times x minus pi over 6. And we want to graph the cosine function with multiple transformations. So the first thing we want to do is we want to know what the original graph of cosine looks like. So the original graph of y is equal to cosine x looks something like Okay, we have a high of 1, a low of negative 1, we have pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So we have a high at 1, it hits the x-axis at pi over 2, and we have a low of negative 1, and then we have a 0 at 3 pi over 2, and then we have a high at 2 pi. And the graph will look something like this. Okay. Okay, so that is your original graph. So our function is in the form y is equal to a cosine of b x minus c plus d, where a is equal to 5, b is equal to 4, our c is equal to pi over 6, and our d is equal to 0. Okay, so now we want to apply the transformations. And in order to do that, we need to first compute the period. The period is equal to 2 pi over b, which is equal to 2 pi over 4, which is equal to pi over 2. And now the next thing we want to do is compute the x scale. So the x scale is equal to period over 4, which is the same as saying pi over 2 times 1 over 4. So we can just multiply by 1 over 4. Okay, so then that becomes pi over 8. So now the next thing we want to do is compute the numbers that will go along the x-axis. So we first begin at C. So we begin at C. Our C is pi over 6, but since we're going to add increments of pi over 8, how about we go ahead and come up with a common denominator. Pi over 8 and pi over 6 have a common denominator of 24. So in order to make the denominator of pi over 6 a 24, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by a 4. So that becomes 4 pi over 24. And if I allow pi over 8 to have a common denominator of a 24, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by a 3. So that becomes 3 pi over 24. Now we can add the increments to C, and we can reduce our fractions towards the end. So we begin at C, and we're going to say 4 pi over 24 and add an increment of 3 pi over 24, and that gives us 7 pi over 24. Again, repeat 7 pi over 24 plus another increment, which is 3 pi over 24, gives me a 10 pi over 24. Repeat again, 10 pi over 24 plus another 3 pi over 24 is going to give me a 13 pi over 24. Lastly, we take 13 pi over 24 and add another 3 pi over 24, and that's going to give me a 16 pi over 24. Okay, now we can go ahead and reduce our fractions. We know that... 4 pi over 24 reduces to pi over 6. 7 pi over 24 can stay as is. 10 pi over 24 reduces to 5 pi over 12. 13 pi over 24 does not reduce anymore. And 16 pi over 24 reduces to 2 pi over 3. Okay? So now we are ready to graph the cosine function. So here we're going to draw a graph. And this time, instead of our high and low being 1, it's going to be a high and low of 5. So I'm going to put my 5 here and my negative 5 here. And then I'm going to go ahead and label my x scale across the x axis. So we're going to say, well, we're going to start at pi over 6. 
and then we're going to come over and land at 7 pi over 24. Then we're going to come over again at 5 pi over 12. Then we're going to come over again at 13 pi over 24. And we're going to end at 2 pi over 3. Okay? Now we need to apply the reflection about the x-axis. Why? Because we have a negative sign on the outside of the cosine function. This tells me that instead of starting high, we are going to start low. And then everything that you see that's low will go high. So everything will sort of reflect the x-axis. So we're going to start at pi over 6, hit the zero point. Go up at 5 pi over 12, back at the zero point at 13 pi over 24, and our low point at 2 pi over 3. And our graph is going to look something like that. Okay, and that is how you graph the cosine function with multiple transformations. Thank you so much for watching and always remember that you are awesome.